we are going to start about that grammar practices based on that uh, comparative adjectives and the superlative adjectives and then we are working on the directions that's about the today's grammar practice okay that's a lovely activity and especially we must have the knowledge of that adjectives normally we have the three categories we work on that one the one should be the positive adjective right then we have that comparative adjectives the comparatives then we have the superlatives that's what we call as a supersonic earlier we have the super so we have the three kinds of adjective we need to work on that one just i want to refresh your previous knowledge or just i want to break your thoughts and everything else okay could you please uh, complete uh, this chart for me please just i want to get that uh, two things there eh? Do it by yourself. Individually, can you do this one? And the comparative, I need the superlative. Make it fast. Do it in your worksheet. Yeah, that's it that's it that's it. just i want to do that one once you have finished just raise your hands good 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 normally we have the knowledge about that uh, positive comparative and superlative from grade five right right so we must have the knowledge about these things. Let me put in a different group for two minutes. Can you compare your answer with your friends? Then we'll be right back to check the answers. Okay, here we go. Just two minutes discussion for you guys. Okay, what do you think about the second one? Bigger, 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 I don't forget the biggest. 
The most comfortable, very good. What about here? Better, Could you please put the tick? Yes, yeah. Could you please put the tick? So here, this is really important. Okay, well done. Actually, most of you got all the right answer. Just I want to refresh. That's what I have. That question for you. So here you can see that when the single vowel is there, so you have double that one, you are right, okay. Then we have that again, it should be a biggest, okay. But here we have the double, okay. Not the single vowel, it should be a double, OO is a double. So normally we have the ER and the EST, okay. Here we, you can see that one, that about the syllables, right, comfortable, yeah. But here we have the one syllable, big, cool. If it's a one syllable, normally we add ER. More than, yeah, one, actually. Two or more than two, we add that word more. And the superlative should be the most comfortable. You are right. Then we call as an irregular adjective. You are right. So irregular. So good, better, the best. When you have the bad, definitely it should be worse and the worst. That's all. Right, that's all we have the knowledge about that positive, comparative, and superlative. Right, so now let's we practice on that one. It's a time to practice it, okay? And can you please look at that 7.1 for you and complete the text with the comparative form of the adjective in the brackets, okay? Let me give Three minutes, yeah. Can you please answer the question by yourself? It's lovely activity. Once you have completed, just raise your hand. You can see the picture also. The red buses. One more minute. Okay, let's check the answer. So 
So when we look at the instruction, it says a comparative adjective, and we have that basic knowledge about that one. So simply you can answer the question, very careful about the spelling. The spelling is very important. So what should be the number one? Better. 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 Yeah. Better. Very careful about the spelling. Very careful about the spelling. Right? Otherwise, it should be a big issue. Okay. Number three. That is really important when we have that. Uh, right? If it finishes with Y, normally we remove the Y and put IER. So dirty, dirtier. Even the superlative, the dirtiest, I-E-S-T. So remember that one. Right? Just remember it. Good. Right. What about the next one? Then this is what we need to know that one. It's too easy, the concept about that comparative and superlative. Especially I work with you. Okay, that's it. So when you have all the right answer, could you please raise your hand? Okay, well done, well done. That's good. Let's go to the second activity, number two. Read the text in exercise one again and write the correct sentences. This is really, really important one, right? So read that very carefully. Then you need to correct it, right? Very careful about the spellings. I would like to give you five minutes to this activity. Can you please do that one? Once you have completed, raise your hand. It's like an error correction based on that reading. So you have the two knowledge of the reading and then you need to correct that one.
Okay, let's check the answer. Good. What do you think about the number one? What's the problem with that sentence? What's the mistake? Uh, public transport uh, uh, goes to like behind the like set. The then the public. car is moved in yes. front of it. No, actually, just correct the sentence. Just correct it. I'll fight things that cause transport people die. Yeah, so you have the two options are there. You have the two options, right? Listen very carefully. You have the two options. That's related to this one. It's cheaper. We have the problem related to the cheaper. So one thing you can write that one, the public transport is more expensive than a car, okay? Public transport is more expensive. Or you can see, a car is cheaper than, that's opposite. The car is cheaper than public transport. So you have the two options. Just think about the two options. The one things that public transport is right, the public transport is, so we need to correct the cheaper. More expensive. More expensive, right? That should be more expensive. Public transport is more expensive, okay. If the subject is public transport, it's more expensive than the car. But when you change the second option, Right, the second option, the Alfi thinks the car is cheaper than public transport. Yeah. So that should be a second option. But only you can write one option is okay. That a car is cheaper. than public transport, yeah. And you need to put the full stop also. May know that one, how many have got the right answer? But you should know that one, both are correct. Both are correct. Okay. So let's think about it in that way. Number two. Eli thinks public transport is public transport is Yeah. Public transport is dirtier than his car. Yes. Public transport is dirtier than his car. The subject is that we need to change the subject. Uh, public. Yes, that should be that one. Dirtier than right. Or the car. That should be there. Right. We need to change that one. Yeah. Right. Yes. Number three. Test things, public yes, transport, uh, transport, yes, cycling, cycling, yeah, cycling, 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 that should be the subject. Cycling yeah. is more dangerous than more dangerous. public transport. Public transport. That's too easy, but it's true actually. Test things, cycling is more dangerous than public transport. Well done. Number four. Tessa thinks that using the 
quick yes, quick hit that you sing the because it's almost done for this more dance uh, in for this more more in yeah uh, choosing the smartest way to travel There are things yes, that yes. using the quickest yes, form of transport, using the smartest way to travel, using the smartest way to travel, using the using the quickest form of transport. Okay, right. So if I understand you correctly, the answer should be: These are things that choosing the smartest way to travel is more important than. using the quickest form of transport it's a good practice for you guys let me say once again these are things that choosing the smartest way to travel choosing the smartest way to travel is more important than using the quickest form of transport that should be that one so this phrase should be as a subject take that very carefully these are things that choosing the smartest way to travel is more important than using the quickest form of transport okay how many of you got the right answer just raise your hand be honest be honest yeah 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 some of you missed that one don't worry but just you know practice it well done those who got the right answer well done okay super so very careful about that one what about the number missing a bus is a bigger problem is a bigger problem than traffic that could be a one option troy things that i highlight that one missing a bus just we are comparing the traffic and missing a bus right the troy things that missing a bus is a bigger problem than a traffic or oh, traffic yeah or you can say the opposite bigger opposite should be smaller troy thinks that traffic is a smaller problem just you change that one yeah that's it by right, the second option you need to change the adjective that's fine just to change that one simply you can change the adjective right that should be a smaller problem than missing a bus that's it so simply you can see that one here the highlighting that way you just compare the two things his car and the public transport public transport cycling choosing the quickest form of the transport versus choosing the smartest way transport traffic missing a bus you are comparing to that's what we have the comparatives just you are working with the two things 
traffic versus missing a bus, his car versus public transport, public transport versus cycling. That's too easy. May you know how many of you got the answer, correct answer for number five? Two options are there. Yeah. The one thing you can change the adjective, it's smaller problem, or you can change the subject. Well done. I really appreciate that one. Okay. Can you do the next one? It's too easy. Making the sentences again, three minutes. All are correct. Well done. Congratulations. Number three, just three minutes. Okay, that's great. One minute more. Okay, what about the first one? Plain. Plane is faster than a bus. Plane is faster than a bus. The plane, actually. The plane. The bus. Yeah, the plane is faster than the bus. Yeah, than the bus. Okay, okay, right. So we are comparing that one. Okay. Number two. Car is more comfortable than a plane. Car is more comfortable than the plane. Than the plane. Than the plane. More comfortable. Comfortable than the plane. Yeah. Than the plane. And the play. Okay, good, 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 good. Number three. The train. 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 The the last one. Longer than the car. Okay. Longer than the car. You need the full stop. Right? Just we work on that one. Yeah. Just we work on it here. Okay. According yes. to that survey, actually, we have done that activity according to the survey. Right here, you can have that. There's a plus, is there? Options are there, right? According to the survey, we make that one. The table will help us, okay? Mm -hmm. The table will help us to make that survey, right? That's what we did that one, okay? Mm -hmm. So the people opinion, actually. Sometimes you may think that one, yeah. 
the plane is more comfortable than, but the survey says like that. You can compare the plane and the car. They talk about that one, only one, but here we have the three. That's what we compare it. So normally, when we are doing the two things, actually, we use a comparative. The next class, we are working on that uh, superlatives, okay? Okay, sir. So